know a secret, and it's something so powerful, so profound, it will change the way you look at the cosmos, our planet, and ourselves. In 2003, astronomers are shocked by an extraordinary revelation that most of the universe is missing from galaxies far across the gulf of space to atoms in a grain of sand. Everything we can see and measure, it's only 4% of the total universe. Where is the rest of the universe? In the late 1960s, astronomer Vera Rubin discovers something wrong with spiral galaxies. Their outer arms are spinning way too fast. Even our galactic neighbor, the Andromeda galaxy, is spinning so fast it should fly apart. She is at the threshold of a profound mystery. Either our grasp of basic physics is all wrong, or something is keeping Andromeda glued together. Something invisible. Soon, astronomers give the something a name, dark matter. Three competing theories to explain dark matter soon emerge. One idea is that maybe galaxies are surrounded by swarms of unseen hydrogen snowballs, tiny, cold, and dark. Another idea suggests galaxies are embedded in a halo of dark stars and black holes called machos, an acronym that stands for Massive Compact Halo Objects. But as strange as these first two theories might be, most researchers prefer a third scenario, where dark matter is made of gigantic clouds called weakly interacting massive particles, or WIMPs for short. If two WIMPs brush together, they annihilate each other, similar to matter-antimatter collisions. The annihilation yields the flash of a gamma ray particle, an effect we can see today. The Fermi satellite captured two vast bubbles of gamma rays rising above and below the disk of the Milky Way. Some think the bubbles result from clouds of dark matter self-annihilating around the core of our galaxy. Unless they're destroying each other, WIMPs are hard to detect because they're not made of normal matter. WIMPs are not even on the periodic table. Just north of Geneva, Switzerland, the hunt for dark matter is underway. The 27-kilometer Large Hadron Collider is famous for its discovery of the so-called God Particle. But previous attempts to capture the elusive WIMP have all failed. Right now, the collider is powered down. But when turned on, the LHC will give researchers a chance to study the riddles of the early universe. The question was first posed by two scientists, Arno Pensius and Robert Wilson, are the first to recognize the presence of this cosmic background radiation. They think something is wrong with their equipment or that the signal is coming from nearby New York City. But no matter what they do, the unwanted signal stubbornly remains. Penzias and Wilson soon realize that the signal is real and it's a fossil relic of the Big Bang itself. The satellite is NASA's Wilkinson Microwave Anastropy Probe, WMAP for short. Its job is to photograph the entire sky as seen in microwaves. Some 40 years later, the WMAP science team completes the world's most detailed recording of the microwave sky. It provides a tie-dyed view of the universe, roughly 300,000 years after the Big Bang itself. And it changes everything. Debate over the age of the cosmos is reliably calculated to 13.72 billion years. What the universe is made of is measured too. Normal matter is 4.6%. Dark matter is 23%. And a relative newcomer to the human experience, dark energy is 72% of the total makeup of our universe. No one really knows what dark energy is, but there is a consensus about what